Carrie Montague, who's a journalist and a musician at the same time, and she kind of cross, crosses the two and does lots of lovely experimental things. Today she's going to be doing some stuff based on her experiences in Bukatingi. So, welcome to Karen Montague. <laughs> Yes, it's a long time ago that I was in uh, that I was in Bukatingi in Sumatra Barat, and it was um, it was a very special experience. I went there when I was quite young, and I learned to sing folk music with the people of um, Sumatra Barat who sing Salawang music. As I was saying, what the um, the kind of Salawang is a flute that's played using circular breathing, and um, when you, that means that the sound is continuous, even though at the point, as, as I was saying earlier, you, you fill up your cheeks. You can have a go at this at home. So you fill up your cheeks and you blow across the top of, of a flute. And then when, when your breaths run out, but you've still got some air in your cheeks, you push that out and at the same time you breathe up through your nose. So the sound kind of falls away. So it's a very wistful kind of sound. And the vocalists sing alongside the flute in unison with, with the flute, uh, but, but with slight differences. And this is really just a kind of memory journey. I'm going to try and remember some of the lyrics, but I won't remember them all accurately, so please be, be kind. I'm, um, I'm, I'm kind of going to do it as though it's just evoking uh, uh, the memory. So there'll be lots of mistakes of memory and I'll be very glad to hear if anybody has any corrections for me, but um, otherwise um, I'm, not, I'm not going to worry about it because it's part of the, the memory.
Sapulu, oh Sapulu, kali di tampi di indang, oh di indang pada dak juo, oh Sapulu, kali di ganti, nanan hilang takana juo, oh nanan hilang takana juo. Sapulu, oh sapulu, kali di tampi di indang, oh di indang pada dak juo, oh sapulu, kali di ganti nanan hilang takana juo, oh nanan hilang takana juo, nanan hilang takana. The one I have lost, I will never forget. Nine times I toss the rice. Nine times the skin falls from the rice. Even though I do this for nine times. The one I have lost, I will never forget. Rob, is it possible to have a bit more, yeah. a bit more sound on the keyboard? Let's try to put some. Here's a song about remembering a song about men and remembering a song about coffee, coffee, making coffee, drinking coffee from glasses of ground coffee. The coffee is just dissolved in the water in the, gra in the glass, so you don't need a big machine like this one here. <laughs> and. Um, in the evening in the marketplace at Bukitingi. A sabanamo ai kopi nda bagulo jadi juo A salai sampayo nangkini nda bagulo jadi juo Gali gali den uda kacu cai den den yo hoy gali gali den uda kacu cai den den yo. being tickled by a by someone
so or something, or the Menanka Bao, or some sort of vague fragment of it. But there, um, everything's uh, all just out. Hello. Yeah. I um, I went to Sumatra about 20, nearly, probably nearly 30 years ago now, and um, I've just got these fragments in my memory of of the people teaching me the folk music and of the mountains and of the mist and I, I just I remember everybody having chest colds up in the mountains and um, the strange to me a remedy for for that in that um, people had the coins that they would put menthol on and then scratch your back with it and um, it didn't cure my cold, I'm afraid. It did, did, did leave kind of wheels along my skin. Yeah. So it, it, I'm going to finish now and um, just just say be kind because because it's 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 sort of memories of a, a very lovely time, but it all seems to have become very misty now. The mists of memory of Sumatra Barat. Bukatingi and the villages around and the people Minangkabau which means I think many of you will know um, winning buffalo I'll just leave you with the story of Minangkabau which is that there was a little a little buffalo baby buffalo and it had um, it, it, there was a fight between two tribes. There was the Manankabao, who weren't obviously called the Manankabao at this point, and the opposite tribe. And they had to decide who was the victor by a fight of the buffalo. And the Manankabao only had a little, had a little baby buffalo, and they, they um, strapped a, a nasty sharp horn to its head, and it went to suckle the other buffalo, though I don't know why I didn't realise it, it wasn't its mum really, and um, apparently pierced the stomach of, of the buffalo with its nasty sharp, sharp horn. And Minang winning, I think, and Cabal buffalo. So the Salawang is associated with, with, with Minang Cabal culture from West Sumatra. Thank you everyone. Thank <laughs> you.